Don't let Auntie Mabel bless the table. Sunday dinner is always a treat. We go to Auntie Mabel's. We're ready to eat. Everyone is seated at the table. Everyone except dear Auntie Mabel. She is bringing mashed potatoes and a bowl of stewed tomatoes. Papa says, It's time to pray. Let's give thanks for this good day. We all bow our heads in prayer. Auntie Mabel's voice fills the air. God is great. God is good. We thank him for this food. By his hand must all be fed. Give us, Lord, our daily bread. Now bless the corn and black eyed peas, Virginia ham and mac and cheese. Bless the roast chicken, it's much too small. I'm sure, Lord, it won't feed us all. Bless the yams, sweet and sticky. Bless the Brussels sprouts, so, so icky. Bless the carrots and collard greens. Bless the gravy and lima beans. Bless the beets and pickled pig's feet. Bless the meal we are about to eat. Dear Lord, bless the children and grown-ups too. Remember little Bobby and Timber too. Bless the President of the United States. Mama thinks he has a kind face. Bless the schools and all the teachers. Bless Pastor Bob. He's a swell preacher. Bless everyone sitting at this table. And please don't forget me. Auntie Mabel. Lord, bless the chairs and bless the... <clears throat> Papa stands up and clears his throat. To Auntie Mabel, I'd like to say, gracing the table shouldn't take all day. The food is cold. We'll have to reheat it before anyone here can begin to eat it. Sorry, says Auntie Mabel. I didn't mean to pray so long. I really intended to sing a song. Please, Mabel. Don't sing. Let's pray, says Papa. Bless everyone at our table. And Lord, don't forget Auntie Mabel. Amen. The end.